There is this weird, dark, sad corner of the internet where people spread anti-vaccine theories, lash out against big pharma, and where randos have somehow become medical experts. This is a place where logic and critical thinking goes to die. Those waiting around in this cesspool will likely come across one Alan Mandel. He is a chiropractor who has glossed himself as the motivational doctor. That, by the way, is as laughable as it is incorrect. And his only way to actually motivate people is to promote the deflection of all criticism of him and those who follow him while simultaneously building this us versus them scenario as if anyone who disagrees with his dopey flock is a philistine. Let's make one thing crystal clear here folks, Alan Mandel, he's no doctor, and this is why. Let's start with one thing that needs to be said. I would not be here today making this video if Alan Mandel called himself the motivational chiropractor and made it clear that he was not a true doctor. Look, a lot of things he discusses in his videos, the advice is questionable at best and flat out wrong in many cases, but that doesn't matter if you're not claiming to be an authority. People are free to give out whatever shitty advice they wish and those listening are within their right to follow or discard it. Tell folks that eating sewage cures cancer for all I care. However, when you start claiming to be a doctor and presenting yourself as such, that is a problem. You are presenting yourself as a false authority. And make no mistake, this false sense of authority runs rampant across everything Mandel does. He clearly wants you to believe he is an actual doctor and not some pseudoscience peddler. For example, in many of his YouTube thumbnails, you will find Mandel wearing scrubs. The visual implication is that he sees clients and is a trained medical professional. Why use an image of you in scrubs otherwise? There is no reason other than to present himself as a false authority, folks. Let's take a gander at his introduction video to see how this all comes together. Welcome, I'm Dr. Mandel. I'm here to give you some insight about your health. So he's in scrubs and he's called himself Dr. Mandel, but no mention of being a chiropractor so far. Our body is very intelligent. And when we produce symptoms, I want you to understand there is an underlying cause. We've learned about cause and effect, that for every cause there's an effect and for every effect there's a cause. Does anyone over the age of eight really need an in-depth explanation on what cause and effect is? Come on. So if I take a rubber band and I put it around my finger like this, wrap it on real tight in the tip of my finger, you can see my finger is starting to turn red. And over a period of time, that redness is going to get worse. Eventually, it's going to turn purple. Eventually, probably going to turn black. And we're going to be in big trouble. By all means, please keep the rubber band on. Let's skip ahead here. He's spending way too much time on how cause and effect works. A phrase that literally describes itself. Now, the power that made the body is the same power that heals the body. And when the body is sick, they call that disease. If you look at the word disease, this dash ease means lack of ease. Somewhere, some 12 year old's mind has just been blown. Words in other words, oh man, what a wild world we live in. Ugh. I have hundreds of self-help videos to help you and your family. And here are just a few of the categories. Spinal and disc related problems, joint conditions, clinical nutrition, weight loss and fat burning, metabolic syndrome, conditions related to diabetes and insulin resistance, high blood pressure, high cholesterol and high triglycerides, healing herbs, vitamins and minerals. Imagine going to see an orthopedic specialist and them going, hey, would you like some advice on eye care, nutrition, or a bunch of other areas way outside their area of expertise? Neuroscience. Neuroscience? Seriously? Conditions related to the brain and many others to keep you healthy, happy, and to live a long life. You know what he didn't say? I'm a chiropractor. 
You know what else he didn't say? I am not a doctor. He also didn't mention the fact that most of his content in videos have just been topics he went into Google search, typed in, found a few articles for, and then repurposed them to make a video. Here's a great example. This is a video by the doctor that sees him talking about facial massages that can boost collagen in your face. A medical area way beyond his chiropractic background. The thing is, there are countless other videos and articles on this very topic all published before Mandel created this video. Additionally, no one who wrote those articles or made those videos is masquerading as a doctor, er, sorry, motivational doctor. Another key difference is that most actually source other scientific or medical research. Mandel, not so much. He loves to use the phrase studies in research, but rarely presents anything on that. My personal favorite though, his YouTube descriptions. You see, Alan Mandel likes to plagiarize his YouTube descriptions from Wikipedia. I'm not even joking about this folks. Let's take a look at one such example. This is his description for one of his videos on anxiety. And here is what can be found on the Wikipedia page covering the topic of anxiety. Fuck, dude! You're literally not even going to bother to change a few words or at least rearrange something. It is a word for word plagiarization. And. If you're lifting stuff directly from Wikipedia, why should anyone believe anything else you say about any topic because it's probably just been sourced or stolen from other content? And that's the problem with all of this. By wearing scrubs and calling himself a doctor despite not holding an MD, Mandel has become a false authority. Albeit it's mostly a harmless one, but it's still false. Even beyond that though. Would anyone in their right mind take advice on how to burn belly fat or how to prevent a heart attack from a chiropractor who called themselves and had introduced themselves as such? Hell freaking no, they would not be interested. There is also this peculiar thing Mandel does where he tries to place himself as this peer to doctors as if they're somehow equals. Here he is offering insights on what you should look for in a doctor. I'm sure we all can agree that there are good doctors and bad doctors. And what I mean by that is that when you see a doctor, that doctor should give you 100%. You should not be rushed. He should ask you questions and have his heart in yours. Wow. That does not mean anything. Put his heart in your heart? Like a heart transplant? What is this? this it's just meaningless fluff. This is nonsense. Interestingly, Mandel here wants you to see him as an equal to a doctor by giving you this advice as some sort of insider information as a doctor himself, which he is not obviously, it makes it appear as if he is somehow equal to other medical professionals. Here is another example of Mandel trying to make it seem as if he chose to become an actual doctor and not a chiropractor. While he wants to pose as this doctor, this altruistic figure who does the right thing to help out people, let's make one thing perfectly clear. He didn't choose to become a doctor because he's not a doctor. He's a chiropractor. And as far as wanting to help people and do that other stuff, well, we'll get to that in a bit. If you go back into the Alan Mandel archive, things get a little weird. There is some good here. I think you see some videos where he's clearly stating, I'm a chiropractor, this is my area of expertise. There's also some uh, peculiar stuff. He goes through a phase where he wants to be this motivational speaker and then you just get some absolutely bizarre out of left field topics. My favorite is this gym right here. The topic today is predators brainwashing children. These are some safety tips that we're going to discuss and some common scenarios that happens regularly in our community. I find it incredibly ironic that he is trying to produce a video warning people about child predators while trying his damnedest to look exactly like one. This came during a phase of Mandel's YouTube career when he was really into just this idea of being a self-help guru. 
That never really took off for him, and eventually he would go back to videos related to the chiropractic field. He would only mention his profession as a chiropractor from time to time, but if I'm being, again, quite honest here, I don't think there's much you can fault with these videos as they all are pretty focused on things that he would have knowledge of. But then videos about diet and vitamins and stuff like that, they started to creep in. It was, it was still mostly chiropractic focus, but you started getting these little peculiar topics here and there. By 2018, things had gone completely off the rails over at the Motivational Doc channel. Mandel was now doing videos on how to stop a sneeze, places on your body you could press for more energy, and all kinds of other quackery. While popular, this did seem to catch up to him because at one point he started to place this really long-winded disclaimer at the start of all his videos, a practice that still carries on to this day. The medical information on this site is provided as an information resource only and is not to be used or relied on for any diagnostic or treatment purposes. This information is not intended to be patient education, does not create any patient-physician relationship, and should not be used as a substitute for professional diagnosis and treatment. Please consult your health care provider before making any health care decisions or for guidance about a specific medical condition. Dr. Mandel shall have no liability for any damages, loss, injury, or liability whatsoever suffered as a result of your reliance on the information contained in this site. Mandel has so little faith in what he is telling you that he actually would rather you speak to a medical professional, not only that, if you do follow his advice and it doesn't go well, unfortunately, you shit out of luck. So there's that. Probably not the best idea in the world to take the advice of someone who literally tells you before dispensing it that they want nothing to do with the results should things go wrong. Then again, what do I know? I'm just a guy with a philosophy degree and the ability to think critically. We've already established Dr. Mandel is not a doctor, he's a chiropractor. I shouldn't even call him Dr. Mandel, my bad there. However, for him to keep this charade ongoing, he's really leaned into becoming this cult leader-like figure. Anyone who watched my video on fellow not doctor, Dr. Berg, and scrolled through the comments section there knows exactly what this looks like. Those who follow Mandel are so wrapped up in his personality and his words that they have cast aside any ability to think rationally or to think critically, to use any sort of logic. How he does this is fairly manipulative. He uses this language that sounds inclusive, but in reality is actually quite exclusive to create and foster a sense of us versus others. You can't control how others treat you, but you can't control how you react. Don't let their negativity define you and don't let their bitterness of others poison your happiness. And lastly, there are some people that will never like you because your spirit irritates their demons. According to Mandel, a murderer who liked murdering people and thought it made him healthier shouldn't stop doing that just because the laws and other people told them to. And in fact, the only reason people want the murderer to stop murdering is because they're jealous of them? Look, this sounds fairly ridiculous, but it also follows a fairly clear pattern. The chiropractor is empowering people to dismiss anything they don't like said about them and only accept what they do agree with. This is what cult leaders do to focus their attention on their own words. It is driving a wedge between reality and this alternate world being created by Alan Mandel. And the only ones who aren't able to see that, of course, are those who are too far gone. Beyond that, so much of Mandel's shtick is just, it's gross. His use of words like we and together imply inclusivity, but only if you actually agree with what he's saying. Then there are phrases like change your life and overcome that are just fodder for weak-minded fools. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel. When things get tough in your life, we have to fight to win. I have no doubt whatsoever that there will be a legion of people thumbs down in this video and leaving comments along the lines of 
Dr. Mandel helps people. You're just jealous. You don't have a lot of subscribers. Dr. Mandel's advice helped me. I counter with this. Here are four indisputable facts we know about Alan Mandel. Dr. Mandel is not a doctor, but presents himself as such. He uses a disclaimer to warn people his advice may not be any good. He plagiarizes Wikipedia and other sources. And finally, his language and word choice are similar to what cult leaders use. These four things are facts. It's not opinion. I haven't made them up. These are indisputable reality. So by all means, go on, have your fun, write your stupid little comments about Big Pharma or The Jab or how Dr. Mandel's advice helped your grandmother bench press 300 pounds or whatever the case may be. But the question you should ask yourself is this. If the person who is offering me the medical advice doesn't want to be fully transparent with me about who they are or what their credentials happen to be, is it really worth taking? As Fred Durst of Limp Bizkit might say, think about it. That does it for me. I'm Cheyenne Hollis. I am not a chiropractor. I'm not a medical practitioner. I'm not in a position to be giving anyone any sort of medical advice. But what I am qualified to do is to use my brain and to actually think about things in the world. A novel concept, I know. Anyway, this is the touchback. And as we like to say around here, hashtag take it out to the 25.